Welcome back. Protesters showed up for a second straight day in front of the St. Pete Police Department. Close to 100 people made their voices heard, holding signs and chanting. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd is there. The mayor and chief of police were speaking inside, outside City Hall. Uh, more than 100 protesters have gathered. They were peaceful, yet they were also very loud and definitely angry. Peace. Justice, no peace. Justice, no peace. As the temperature rose, so too did people's tempers today. We're seeing the continued um, killing of unarmed black men. It is troubling. And I have to not be a coward and stand up for my people. I realize that the racism that I thought was behind us is alive and well. Caprice Edmund has four children between the ages of six and 19. Seeing people dying, how do I comfort them? Somebody to leave. While outside, the protesters were looking for someone to lean on. Inside the police station, the chief said he understands their anger. Is your, if you are protesting peacefully, we want that. We welcome that. No justice, no peace! Later in the afternoon, the protesters began their march downtown past City Hall, attempting to block intersections. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Inside the emergency operations center, police manned phones and kept an eye on the march. Damage any city property, do anything to any one of our citizens or to one of our police officers, you are going to jail. When it started getting a bit problematic last night, it wasn't those from St. Petersburg, it was from people who came from outside the communities. In St. Pete, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.